can I get 50 points for Indian BCom as overseas education qualification for New Zealand PR purpose? If not, is it a difficult to try for NZPR? Amal, if only getting residency or PR, as most of you guys like to call it, was as simple as getting 50 points for an Indian become, trust me, uh, life would have been so much more simpler for a lot of people. It is not that simple. In fact, uh, last year after they changed the rules, now it is uh, uh, mandatory that for anybody to get residency in New Zealand, uh, and first you get residency and then you get permanent residency, which is PR, but first you need to get your residency. So for it's become mandatory now for anybody who is seeking to get residency in New Zealand that A, you should have uh, uh, skilled employment in New Zealand or an offer of skilled employment in New Zealand. Or B, you should have studied in New Zealand for at least two years and uh, uh, acquired a qualification, which is a master's or a PhD. So those are the two main criteria that need to be met. In case you cannot meet these two criteria, but you still have a good background, the right qualification, definitely not a BCom. I don't think BCom will get you. But if let's say you are a BTEC, IT, or or you know, or, or a B mechanical engineering and those highly skilled kind of things, then you probably, if and if you're still crossing those 160 points, then potentially you could apply for something called the skilled migrant category job search visa. And so what we do, and for all of you guys listening in and who want to know uh, how that happens, just send us your CV, email your CV to immigration advisor uh, at ajvglobal.com.